Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about one of the latest TikTok skincare trends, and that is called slugging. If you're not familiar with what slugging is, I will explain that briefly in this video, as well as pros and cons of slugging, where it can go really good, where it can go not so good. And I have actually had both of those things happen to me. So the photo you saw in the thumbnail, that was an example of when slugging went not so good for me. So we'll dive into all of that and I will share with you guys what some of my favorite products for slugging are as well. So if you wanna hear all about slugging, if it's something that you need to do in your skincare routine or if it's something you can skip, you're in the right spot, let's jump right into it. Okay, slugging, what the heck even is it? Why is it so popular? Does it deserve that popularity? Let's dive into all of that. Essentially what it is is applying some some sort of intensely occlusive product on your face to prevent moisture loss. And I've actually unknowingly been slugging since high school. Not to pat myself on the back, but just on my lips actually, which we'll get into. But if you're not familiar with what an occlusive ingredient is, there are different kinds of moisturizing ingredients that you'll find in your skincare products. Humectants, which help to hydrate, emollients, which help to soften and smooth, and occlusive ingredients, which help to actually physically create a seal on our face to prevent trans epidermal water loss. So the word occlude literally means to prevent passage, to block, to stop. And that's exactly what's happening when we are using intensely occlusive products on our face. It is creating a seal to help to prevent trans epidermal water loss to keep our skin moisturized. And aside from that, it also helps to protect our skin from harmful irritants and other particles from penetrating our skin's barrier. So that seal really goes both ways at protecting our skin. And there are many different occlusive ingredients that you'll find in your skincare products, things like cacao seed butter, shea butter, petrolatum, paraffin, beeswax, squalene, the list goes on and on and on. And there are certain products that may have occlusive ingredients in them but might be in lower concentrations and the formulation itself could still be on the lighter weight side. And that's not really what slugging is referring to. Slugging is referring to those products that are intensely thick and really help to create that seal. So while products that have occlusive ingredients but are lighter weight can be a great way to moisturize your skin, this trend or this application technique is really focused on those thick Vaseline petroleum jelly-like products. I mean, that feel like jelly on your face. So you definitely can see some really nice skin benefits if you start to introduce slugging into your skincare routine. Does that mean it's for everybody and everyone needs to do it? Definitely not, which we will get into, but if you have any kind of existing skin barrier damage, flakiness, patchiness, scaliness, just aggravated skin, using some sort of healing ointment or intensely occlusive moisturizing cream can be a great way at helping to facilitate that healing process. And that's where I personally have seen great benefit in using this trend in my skincare routine. So because I have combination skin that leans oily, I previously was not doing this trend at all, again, aside from my lips. And that's just because I don't love the feeling of something really thick on my face. It feels too heavy, it feels greasy, it's just not pleasant. And when I already have a slightly oilier face, I just don't need that in my life. I really love lightweight gel-like moisturizers, which many of you guys know. And many of you guys also know, if you've been keeping up with my videos for a while, that I have been trying to heal skin barrier damage for the past few months. And I got that barrier damage from a couple different things. So one was the introduction of a new acne prescription, which really irritated my skin and disrupted my skin barrier. And the other was combining that with face mask usage. So it was just kind of a recipe for disaster. It destroyed my skin, to say the least. So that is when I started to introduce this technique, I guess before it really became trendy because I didn't know that it was called slugging. I just was trying to create that barrier on my skin to prevent moisture loss and help to speed up healing, which absolutely absolutely did. So there's a couple different products that I use to do that, which I will show you guys after we talk through pros and cons, but that is one benefit that I personally have seen and that you may as well if you start to use this technique. But just because slugging has some really nice benefits doesn't mean that it's for everybody or that it's all good. And there are absolutely some cons that you may experience if you try to slug. Can you even say that if you slug? Sounds so gross. So the first is that using products like this may cause your skin to have some sort of reaction. So the ingredients themselves are not comedogenic, meaning that they're not clogging your pores, but it may cause a flare up of your skin just because of the nature of those ingredients and how thick 
and occlusive they really are. And I actually did have this happen to me. So this specifically happened when I was using Aquaphor. I was in a pinch. That's not a product that I had in my skincare routine, but I actually was away from home, had intense skin barrier damage going on, and I was going to be out in the sun. I had a hat, don't worry, but I really wanted something to protect my skin. I was really nervous about worsening that irritation from the sun. So I had to use what I had access to and that was Aquaphor and Aquaphor did not agree with my skin at all which you guys can see right here. So I think this is one of the reasons why people assume that products like this are comedogenic because some people may experience kind of a flare up on their skin that maybe looks like acne, like this looks like whiteheads, but it wasn't. I am very acne prone. I know what a whitehead is. I am very versed in the whitehead department, cyst department, gross, sorry, but it's the truth. I'm super acne prone. This was not acne. It was a flare up. It was really itchy. I had lots of little bumps and texture all over my skin. My skin was scaly. It's wasn't cute and that was very different from the barrier damage that I had while that damage was red and flaky and irritated this was something completely different where I woke up and I was like oh my gosh my skin's having some sort of reaction clearly so aquaphor while it is one of the products that has that really thick jelly like consistency it just personally didn't work for me and I experienced a very intense flare-up on my skin so that is one potential downside it just might not agree with your skin another category that can be an issue with slugging is active ingredients like retinoids and and there are two different ways that this can be problematic. One is if you're used to applying your retinoid blast in your skincare routine and you wanted to apply it on top of this healing ointment or occlusive product, it actually is not going to be able to penetrate your skin barrier like it would if it were not on top of that product. Of course, when it's creating that seal, that really is preventing that active ingredient from properly penetrating your skin's barrier, which makes it less effective, which we don't want. Retinoids, queen. Queen bee. But on the flip side of that, putting your retinoid or active ingredient underneath a healing ointment could actually cause an increased likelihood for irritation. So you have to be really careful with it. And then I would say just the last most obvious con is that it feels greasy and it's really messy and sleeping with a slathering, slippery, jelly-like face is not super comfortable and it gets on your pillow. It's just kind of gross. So I know that that's obvious, but it's not the most pleasant experience. <laughs> so that's basically slugging in a nutshell, some of the pros, some of the cons, and I'm sure based on all of that, you guys can guess which skin types that this technique might be best for. Definitely dry to normal skin. That doesn't mean though that normal to oily skin types can't do this. You definitely can. It's just going to be up to personal preference, but I think when trends like this are going on, it kind of makes everybody feel like they need to be doing it. And if you don't like it, you don't have to. You just don't. So if you are interested in testing out slugging in your skincare routine, maybe you have dry skin or maybe you're oily like me with skin barrier damage, there are a couple different products that I would recommend. My top recommendation is actually a suggestion from one of you guys. So if you guys are not familiar with the series that I have where I review your skincare routines, that is where I was introduced to this product and it's called the CeraVe Healing Ointment. So this says it protects and soothes cracked and chafed skin. It's a skin protectant with ceramides and it's 46.5% petrolatum. I will show you guys the consistency of this. Oh my. Not for the faint of heart, right? And aside from the petrolatum, this also has three other occlusive ingredients within the top four ingredients on the label, and they are mineral oil, paraffin, and dimethicone. We saw how thick this was, but aside from that, this does actually have a couple other really nice ingredients. So CeraVe's typical three essential ceramides, which help to replenish the skin. And this actually also has hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid and panthenol to help to soothe and protect. A lot of times products like this will not have any hydrators in them at all, but this one does, which is great. <laughs> Non-greasy feel. False. Disagree. I mean, you guys, it feels very greasy. <laughs> it does, because that's what it is, but it works. This is what took my skin barrier healing process to the next level. Previously, I was using other kinds of products that are still occlusive, but not nearly as thick as this, and that was definitely helping, but I did not see anywhere near the level of healing that I saw 
and using this before that. Like this is incredible if you have irritation like I was experiencing. So I highly recommend this one. Of course, it's fragrance-free, essential oil-free, free from other kinds of irritants, which is definitely important with this kind of technique because in creating that seal, you are locking in anything that you have underneath it. And if a product like this is filled with irritants, that can exacerbate any sort of irritation that you might experience. I'm actually going to be talking about this again in an upcoming video where I talk through an AM and PM skincare routine for those of you that do have sensitive or irritated skin. So the skincare routine that I was relying on when I had that skin barrier damage. So stay tuned for that. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that. It's coming soon, I promise. So this is not going to be the last time you hear of this. It's so slippery. Like my hands, I'm literally just like... <laughs> I love this thing. If you're looking for a slightly more affordable option, my other recommendation is just pure Vaseline. So this one is actually not one I would recommend putting all over your face because this is their cacao butter version, which actually has added fragrance as the last ingredient. And I use this on my body, actually. This is great for elbows, hands, cracked dry feet, anything like that. I love this stuff. And I personally love that cacao scent but you better believe I'm not putting that on my face, but you can just get plain Vaseline with no added fragrance, and that is a cheaper alternative than the CeraVe option. Of course, you're not going to have those nice additions like the ceramides or hyaluronic acid, but that's okay because you can get them in other products as well. And Vaseline is what I have been using since high school. That's what I was talking about, that I have been slugging on my lips for as long as I can remember because I'm years ahead of this trend, you guys. I knew this was coming. I didn't. I didn't. And I do use the cacao butter mini Vaseline on my lips as well. That is my personal favorite one. Again, I'm not using that on my face, just my lips. This is my big body tub. And then I have little minis for my lips as well. Should I go grab it? <laughs> it's so cute. It's like a little baby unicorn. Okay, so those are my top recommendations for facial products to use for slugging, but if that is too much for you and you just cannot get behind that petroleum jelly feeling on the face, but you still wanna try something that's a little bit more occlusive, what I would recommend is using some sort of thicker moisturizing cream. And I have two different options here for you. The first is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. This one is very thick as well. Definitely not as occlusive as those products, but is a nice kind of step up or back, step back from that if you just can't get yourself to do that. This is one of the creams that I also use to help to repair my skin barrier and I definitely saw a benefit in doing so, but like I was saying, nothing took my skin to the next level quite like this one, but this could be a good option for all over the face if you just wanted to use this on irritated areas and then this on the rest of the face, especially in winter months, if you want something a little bit thicker, great option. And of course, Another amazing choice is this Vanna Cream Moisturizing Cream. It's very similar to the CeraVe option in thickness, but this one is very, very basic. So for those of you that have incredibly sensitive skin, or if you're somebody that does have a lot of skin barrier damage, how many times am I gonna say that? <sighs> this can be amazing because I know that for some people, this causes burning and stinging on the face. And of course, if you already have skin irritation, then the thought of putting something on your face that causes burning and stinging is, no, it's not an option. So that's where I would recommend Vanna Cream because this one is free from basically everything that may potentially cause irritation for you and it's great. This is also one of the products that I was relying on to heal my skin and I love it. It's also one of my go-tos just when I have irritated skin, even if I don't have serious barrier damage. Okay, to wrap this up, let's really quickly talk about how to actually slug your face how to do slugging, how to slugify. Okay, how to use these products in your skincare routine because I'm sure some of you guys are wondering that. So like I was saying, if you were to apply any kind of product on top of a healing ointment or a very occlusive product, it's not going to be able to properly penetrate your skin. So you really wanna save products like this for the very last step of your PM skincare routine. So you will go about your PM skincare routine in the same way that you would otherwise. And then you can apply this ointment all over the face. If you are not interested in applying it all over the face and you just want to apply it 
it to areas of irritation, then you could apply a lighter weight moisturizer first and then go on top of those areas with a little bit of that ointment kind of to just treat and really seal in those spots, which is what I was doing. So when I had skin barrier damage, I had a spot here that would not go away. And then on the base of my chin, just from the mask rubbing there. So I would do my skincare routine. I would apply a lighter weight moisturizer and then just place that healing ointment on those areas. If you want to use this technique in your skincare routine, but you want to use a retinoid, what you could potentially try to do is alternate nights of slugging and retinoid use. It's just going to depend on your skin type and what it can tolerate. Maybe using a retinoid under a product like this won't be irritating for you at all. I would recommend working with your dermatologist on that, especially if you're using prescription grade retinoids, which is what I'm doing and another reason why I personally don't apply this all over my face, but totally up to you and your skin needs. Okay, so I think that's everything I wanted to talk through with you guys. If you just sat through this entire video and you're thinking, that sounds gross and I don't wanna put something like that all over my face. I understand you definitely don't have to do this. This is not a required step in any skincare routine, but I thought it would be fun to talk through and let you guys know my thoughts. So if nothing else, slug the lips, slug the lips. I promise you can also just use this on your lips as well, which is equally as amazing. <sighs> Lip slugging, get it trending. So that's everything for this video. I hope that you guys found this helpful and enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click on that notification bell. And it would mean so much to me if you sent my channel to a friend. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried slugging? Are you going to try it after watching this video? Have you tried it in the way that I did to heal skin barrier damage? Super curious. And if there's anything else you would like to see from me next on this channel or some other kind of trend that you would like me to talk through, I would love to do that. This was definitely fun and a little bit different for me trying to spice things up a little, add a little bit more variety to my channel, you know? So let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days. And until then, I hope you have a great few days.